Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adil Badkhar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The National People's Party or NPP has emerged as the single largest party by winning 26 seats till 5:30 p.m. on Thursday in the 2023 Meghalaya Legislative Assembly elections held on February 27, 2023. UDP emerged as the second largest party with 11 seats, followed by the Congress and All India Trinamool Congress (EITC) with five seats each. They are followed by new entrants in Meghalaya politics, Voice of the People Party (VPP) with four seats, PDF, BJP, HSPDP secured two seats each and two seats were. whereas two seats were also won by independent candidates the counting of ballots began at 8 am on thursday morning and had completed by 6:30 pm NPP women candidate Santa Mary Shilla from Sutunga Saipung constituency in East Jayanti Hills won the seat after defeating heavyweight Vincent H Pala of the Indian National Congress by more than 1500 votes she created history by being the first woman to get elected as an MLA from Jayanti Hills Moving on, four-time Chief Minister and NDPP BJP Pre-Poll Alliance CM candidate Nafio Rio emerged as a big winner with a vote percentage of 92.87% as per the Election Commission of India or ECI. Rio won the seat against Indian National Congress candidate Seye Vile Sachu who secured 6.65% vote percent in the 11th Northern Angami 2 Assembly constituency AC. The ruling NDPP BJP Alliance got a majority in the 60-member Nagaland Assembly by winning 35 seats on Thursday. The National Democratic Progressive Party NDPP won 21 seats while its alliance partner got 12 seats the EC said the NDPP BJP had fought the elections on 40 to 20 seat sharing arrangement Assam Rifles Tengnopal Battalion on Thursday apprehended an alleged smuggler and seized a total of 10 gold biscuits weighing around 1.63 kgs worth approximate rupees 1 crore in the international market from Khudeng Thabi. The gold biscuits were allegedly being smuggled into the state from Myanmar to the Khudeng Thabi check post on the NH102 passing Imphal to Moray, Manipur's last border town. The recovered gold biscuits weigh approximately 1660 grams and were assessed to be worth rupees 1 crore in the international market. The seized gold biscuits along with the apprehended individual were handed over to the customs department more for further investigations. The Union Minister of Ayush and Ports, Shipping and Waterways, Sarbananda Sonowal, inaugurated the first B2B Global Conference and Expo on Traditional Medicine under Shanghai Cooperation Organization at Guwahati on Thursday. More than 150 delegates from 17 SCO, four virtually countries and partners, attended the inaugural ceremony. The four days Expo on Traditional Medicine was also inaugurated by Sri Sonowal on Thursday on the same premises. More than 150 delegates from 17 countries, including India, are participating in the This event which includes high level delegates such as health ministers official delegates and foreign buyers from SCO and partner countries a total of 75 foreign officials and business delegates from 13 countries are participating in physical mode official delegates from China Uzbekistan Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan join virtually In a new set of regulations the Jawaharlal Nehru University JNU announced that students who hold dharnas may be penalized up to rupees 20000 the purpose of the new regulations according to reports is to control and enforce discipline among university students and staff according to the rules of discipline and proper conduct of students of JNU students who hold gherhaus or are accused of violence risk having their admissions revoked or facing fines of up to rupees 30000 thank you for listening to our podcast For latest news and updates follow us on www.hubnetwork.in download hub news app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for promotion and publicity write to us at info@hubnetwork.in at thank you kublai shibon mithela